This is Michelia from Electronic Specifier. I am with John Baxter, who is the Executive Director of Supply and Operations for Soulstar. And John, first of all, Soulstar brand has been around now for what, 18 months, two years, seems to have really caught on with the market now. Yeah, it really has. We actually launched it at this show two years ago. Um, it was a great place to do it. It's been received very well. People understand the der derivation of where it's come from. They understand what we're about, what we're trying to do. Um, and I think the new fresh branding has made it feel more appealing to everybody. And it's, as far as I can see, very well established in the marketplace now and accepted as the new name. So yes, it's worked out very well, thanks. Excellent. Um, just looking at the distribution side of the business, how are you seeing that generally uh, out in the marketplace? Uh, I think you would say the market is generally static. Um, mm -hmm. It's very challenging out there. Uh, the phrase that, that gets coined around a lot is we, we try to fill the bath while the plug's out. Mm -hmm. So we're getting orders in, but it's a similar level of orders that are going out. Uh, so we're not particularly building backlog. Uh, if you look at the data coming out of uh, the likes of ECSN, they're pointing to uh, pretty much flat one-to-one -one book to bill, which kind of points to the same thing. So that's how we're feeling at the moment. A lot of it is driven by the industrial market which is still a little bit suppressed i still think there's an element of stock in the supply chain that's still yet to okay. flush out right. that seems to be taking longer than anybody anticipated yeah um, but there's there's certainly on the design front there are new designs ongoing all the while that we're starting to see come through to fruition and start to go into production so there are some signs in various different markets and various different industries that are starting to see a little bit of, uh, of growth moving forward okay any, any specific industries there or we're seeing that quite a lot of the moments in medical and medtech mm -hmm. uh, which continues to accelerate at quite a rate of knots uh, we have designs coming to fruition in the defense space as well and that have been worked on for probably the last five or six years mm -hmm. and that's now coming to fruition as well so those two markets are going very well but of course a number of those markets are fueled by government expenditure so there's money being put into those markets yeah. mm -hmm. they're not reliant on sales in quite the same way no. okay any looking you know, over the year any distribution initiatives Solstar have taken and also you know any ambitions you've had for this year? Uh, we want to continue to grow. We want to be, continue to be known as uh, the distributor that understands the technology. We have some new lines that we've brought on this year. Uh, Deepex is one that's a relatively new line. Deepex is an AI acceleration device that sits on side of SOM to supercharge a SOM. Uh, that's been received incredibly well. We've run seminars on that in London and we've got uh, had a talk on it today at EDS. Uh, we've got a demo running here as well. That's been very well received. Uh, that really is leading edge technology that customers are embracing uh, and I expect that we'll see more and more of that as the market grows over the next 12 to 18 months. What, what sort of markets are that taking into? What sort of gap does that fill in the South uh, That's filling uh, a number of different market areas uh, but it's really application specific where the added acceleration of the AI protocols can mean that we can we can do more with what they have today. Um, so it's, it's, it's as I say supercharging a SOM uh, allowing them to do more with what they already have uh, so it can take them into new markets. So uh, the areas that we see in this are, are security in particular, uh, more for video interaction and AI identification, facial recognition, object recognition, that sort of area. Okay. Any other new lines come on board in the last year? Or uh, we've signed a line uh, called Sensatech, Sensatronic rather, and uh, that's a product that is just about to be uh, launched. So that's more in the line with uh, uh, the high rail products and the defence products. Mm -hmm. uh, that's an interesting new line. Uh, our focus now is to develop the lines that we've got to do more with the new lines that we've signed to make sure we deliver upon it. Uh, it's important for us to do something with the new lines that we take on and not just let them fester and not do anything. Um, by taking on a line, we feel committed that we have to then make a success of it. So we have to throw resource at it, we have to have time at this, uh, and we have to make sure that we can deliver upon the promises we've made. I mean, you mentioned the push resource at these designs. I mean, you've got quite a, a, a team of FAEs and design engineers to support customers. Yes, we have. Yeah, most of them are here today, mm -hmm. um, running the demonstrations, talking to customers about how they can use them in their applications, mm -hmm. how this technology can benefit customers, what it can do to enable the customer's product to be a market leader in their marketplace, mm -hmm. to enable them to sell more products, to give them some differentiation in their marketplace. That's what we want to do. We want our customers to be successful. If our customers are 
successful, we're successful. Okay. And I guess you, what you can do is support what the the base products that would be at the heart of a, of a of a of a project, but also things like you just mentioned, accelerometer and things like that that you can bring into the mix, which are you you know a bit more unique, if you like. We well, have. Yeah, we've got a very broad product offering these days as an organisation, from the ferrites that we get machined uh, to very very high tolerances from our, our, our partners up in Gateway, from um, displays, custom displays, from boxed PCs through to routers, gateways, to uh, all sorts of chip down devices from processors uh, through to uh, communications, any different protocol you can think of. We've had a great talk earlier on today by Silicon Labs on uh, what they're doing with Bluetooth and Bluetooth low energy from holding and, and uh, asset tracking and recognition within uh, Bluetooth. So there's a lot that they're doing with the new technologies and the new products that we've got. And our technical team are very, very good at understanding how that they can take that technology and support customers forward. Are there any technology trends you're seeing out there uh, with your with your team? I think IoT is continuing. Mm -hmm. um, people want product to be connected more mm -hmm. still. Yeah. Um, the I think the technology uh, in terms of, of IoT is is customers better understanding what they can do with the data that the, the system, IoT system, would generate, mm -hmm. um, how they can monetize that data, how they can do something with it. Um, we also speak to customers who are looking at time to market. So whether it's a chip down design or whether they can get faster to market with a SOM, for instance. Mm -hmm. The SOM may come with all of the approvals for Bluetooth and Wi-Fi that a, that a chip down may make uh, an awful lot longer. Uh, there is a cost benefit to that um, in terms of it will cost more for the for the SOM, but that can pay back very, very quickly when you think of engineering time within customers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and looking ahead to next year, uh, what, what's the plan for Solstar next year? More looking at lines? Are you, 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 are you constantly looking for lines, if you like, that can fill a gap? Or? We're, we're opportunistic within lines. Mm -hmm. uh, the line card is, is in a very strong position, we feel. Um, I don't see that there's any obvious gaps. Mm -hmm. There's technologies that we have that we can leverage and do more with for certain. Mm -hmm. um, our aim is going to be to be taking our current line card that we now have very well established and taking it to the existing customer base mm -hmm. to make sure that they see what we can do so that we've got more and more lines that we can take to our existing customer base we come to shows like eds it's a great place to meet new customers and engage with with current customers so we will attract new customers and new applications from going to shows so we will continue to do that but as far as the line card goes uh, it's in a very strong position we feel uh, there's nothing that i can see as an obvious gap but we remain opportunistic if the right thing comes along. Okay, and finally, how's, how's the show been for you so far? Uh, the show's been pretty steady. Mm -hmm. um, it's been a, a good stream of people on all of our booths. Uh, we have the pods that are running behind us, uh, and we like to see as many of those uh, pods filled by customers talking to our people about the application, what it's doing, what it can do for them. So it's been a pretty good steady show. We've been a long-term supporter of the uh, engineering design yeah. show. Um, I think it's a great position. I think we do very well out of it. Uh, I like the way it's set up. I think it's a great place to come and do business. Uh, and yeah, we're a long-term supporter and hope to be uh, going forward as well. Okay. John Baxter, thank you very much. Thank you.